Hello, this is math six, topic three. We'll look at numeric and algebraic expressions and think about this big topic question. What are expressions and how can they be written and evaluated throughout the whole topic? In these topic um, lessons, we will question um, things like what does a variable in the expression represent? How can expression be written, rewritten without changing their values? Or how do the properties of operations apply to algebraic expressions? We do have seven lessons in this topic and a lot of, a lot of vocabularies um, covered in this topic. Algebraic expression, base, coefficient, composite number, equivalent expressions, evaluate, exponent, factor tree, greatest common factor, least common multiple, like terms, numerical expression, power, prime factorization, prime number, simplify, substitution term, and variable. You will look at this video on um, later in three acts math day, but you should be able to uh, have seen the STEM project video, the intro video in class. Okay, let's go over some vocabulary before we get started with the topic. A blank is a rule that uses symbols to relate two or more quantities. This is going to be a formula. A formula is a rule. It's like an equation um, that uses symbols to relate two or more quantities. So usually you'll look at formulas that have relationship between two or three um, variables. The number 12 is a blank because it has more than two factors. Mark, the number 12 is a blank because it has more than two factors. It's a composite number. Composite means multiple. So if you have multiple numbers, um, we're talking about more than two factors, okay? That will make 12. We'll, we'll look at this, um, this definition in detail later during, in the lesson. A blank is a mathematical phrase that includes numbers and at least one operation. Is it numer numerical expression or a prime number? Prime number is an, an opposite, is the opposite of composite number, actually. It does not have more than two factors. So prime number has a factor of one, <coughs> excuse me, and itself, okay? So a blank, a numerical, expression is a mathematical phrase that includes numbers and at least one operation. Look at perimeter and area. Do, do you remember how to find perimeters and area for different shapes? We have a square for number four, rectangle, rectangles in five and six. Okay. Um, area perimeter is all the sides, length of all sides. Area is the area that's covered by the, by the um, shape, right? So usually you're gonna, for rectangles, you're gonna multiply side times side. You can do side square for a, a square or it could be length times width if it's a rectangle, okay? So perimeter, you have 13, 13, 13, 13, four sides. So 13 times four, 52. 
area, 13 times 13, 169, okay, centimeters square for area, okay, inches, 12, 21 inches for length, 5 inches for width, perimeter, 21 times 2 plus 5 times 2, 52 inches, 21 times 2 plus 5 times 2. And that's 13 times four. And then this is 13 times 13, which is 13 square. Area 21 times five is 105 square inches. Number six, perimeter 15 plus 15 plus nine plus nine. Okay, 15 times two plus nine times two, 48 meters. Area 15 times 9, 135 square meter. Okay. Writing the first five multiples of each number. The multiples mean you have to multiply this number. Eight, the first five means you start with zero. Okay, a to the zeroth power. So if you do not multiply eight, you're gonna you're gonna have you're gonna start with it um, zero, and then you have eight times one, which is eight, and then eight times two, sixteen, eight times three, twenty-four, eight times four, thirty-two. Okay, so that's how you find the first five multiples of the number. So finish 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Come back when you're ready. They will always start with zero. Okay, then you have the number, then number times two, number times three, number times four. 10 also starts with zero, 10, 20, because you're multiplying two. Okay, you're not multiplying 10 times 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. So 0, 6, 12, so you're adding the number from the previous number each time. 0, 4, 8, 12, and 16, and 0, 3, 6, 9, 12. Okay, good. How can you find the factors of 12 and 15? Can you explain? Okay, what, what does a factor mean? Factor, a factor is a number or factors are numbers that can be multiplied to make these numbers, okay? So you have one and 12, one times 12, right? And then what else can you multiply to make 12? Two times six, three times four, that's it, right? So how do you do it? Explain. You can organize. You can make an organized list of factor pairs, just like we did for, them, for 12. 1 times 15. What else? 3 times 5. Do we have more? No, that's it. Okay, so factor pairs of 12 are 1 times 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. Factor pairs of 15 are 1 and 15 and 3 and 5, okay? How are the terms difference, sum, quotient, and product alike? They're, they're different vocabularies, but how are they similar? All terms describe the operation of numbers, right? So yeah, if you find the difference, it means you subtract it, find the sum, you add it, find the quotient, you divide it, find the product, you multiply the numbers. Okay, they're all called operations of a number. 
Let's look at numeric expressions and algebraic expressions on the next page, okay? What are some numeric expressions and some algebraic expressions? And what are some things that could be both, okay? I'm gonna give you some terms and phrases and you will guess or you will, um, you will get the correct answer for you will categorize numeric expressions, algebraic expressions, or both. Okay. What about numbers? How can we put numbers? Is are are, are the term numbers numeric expressions, algebraic expressions, or both? First of all, numeric expressions are numbers like one, two, three, four, five. And algebraic expressions have numbers and variables, right? Um, it could just have variables, right? So things that could be both, you could have numeric plus algebraic together, right? So what can you say? Number, numeric expressions include numbers. For example, 1, 2, 3.3, 4.5, and so on, okay? Algebraic expressions. What do you think variables go? And the algebraic expressions only. Variables are things like x, y, z, m, and any letter that represents a number or some kind of expressions, okay? They represent something else. They're not just X, Y, Z. They're not just letters. Um, they represent some number, okay? Where would you place the term operations? Remember, adding, subtracting, dividing, multiplying, they're all called operations. Operations go both ways, in both ways. So you can add the numbers. One plus one is equal to two, okay? And then two plus three is equal to five. You know, these are operations for the numbers. What about variables? You can have x plus x is equal to two x, and so on, right? Or wait. You can't use numbers in the variable section. So let's say x plus x is going to equal to y. Okay, they all represent numbers. Operations using both num numeric expressions and algebraic expressions would be something like, can you give an example? Yes, something like 2x plus y is equal to four, okay? Okay, so when you scroll down, you have a box. Draw pictures to represent the terms and phrases in the overlap section of your diagram. So what could this overlapping section represent? Draw pictures. You can draw a variable and a number um, holding hands because they're together in this operation sections, right? So draw a picture, your own picture. Okay. Topic three has pick a project. And then we're gonna learn lesson one. So that was an intro for topic three. We'll start with lesson one, understanding and representing exponents um, in the next video. See you later.